Clint Priest makes the cut. Yikes. I think he, he just he had his wow. eyes on the 12 of Blaney yep. trying to clear him. Tyler Reddick, Justin Allgaier. See right here. He's going to go right in. The tries oh, yes. to avoid at the last second. Haley was on pit road as well. See right here. Oh. Blaney. You didn't even know Blaney was in it. He just goes absolutely straight up the racetrack. Maybe. Oh man, they oh, just they made contact. A tiny yeah. bit. Yeah, he contact. got into the left rear of the 20, and that turn uh, that got him loose. Gosh, he was lucky and, right and he there. Got in, oh, boy, real close there. And, and he kind of got himself in a situation where, as the 34 McDowell, along for the ride. There he is. Yeah. So I think Stenhouse was the first one in the fence. With all those cars side by side, there not enough room. Yeah, Kurt Busch squeezing the 17 into the wall, and look at here, maybe the 17, a little angry with that, turns him into McDowell, almost flips the 34 car. And it all began. Look at Burton in the 18. He gets away unscathed, as does the 13 of Johnny Sauter, and the 17 of Ankrum just a bit clicked there in the, well, maybe a little heavier than we thought in the left front, but. The inner loop. Out of the inner loop into the carousel. What is he going to do? Gives him a little bit of bumper. Out of the A, send him. Send him into the tire barrier right there. Payback from earlier. Top of the screen, you see the yellow truck on the right. Started to go sideways ahead of him. Looks like Cicerelli not, oh, look at that wow. damage. And then just nowhere for Chris Fontaine and that blue and yellow 47 truck to go. You could see the fire come out of the exhaust. He was off the gas for sure, but just couldn't get stopped in time. Rolled faster than he did coming into the corner, and it pulls the back of that car around with it as he went by. Great look at it right there. And great execution from our production group, all the camera folks. We were out in the elements today. Very windy and cold day in Texas. We appreciate all they bring each and every week. So keep an eye on that. Daniel Hammock right there has a flat tire. He's tr trying to get out of the way. Loses control of his car. Heavy traffic for the top five car. Oh, oh the double oh, arrow hit into the by fence. Cole Custer. He catches the 20 of Christopher Bell. They spin the caution right. comes Hold out. On. Big contact now behind him. Right. Oh, I think that's the 81. Control and out of the driver's hands. Yeah, Harvey trying to push him to get him by that in that middle lane, and they just when he hit him, it just shot Brad up. Then it just all stacks up. And guess what? When you all running a line together trying to help each other and something happens. Guess what happens to all of you? You all get damaged. Harvick's in the fence a little bit. I think he's going to be OK. And there's Tyler Reddick. Oh, all ooh, of them in their ooh. first 500 start, and yeah. it's on. Yeah, and I just wonder if McLeod was trying to, to, to get woed up. And I think Cody Ware had no idea. He was coming to pit road. And you're right, Jimmy Johnson did get collected in that. The fire that we see there. We saw a fire during practice uh, yesterday, and it was because of oil, a broken oil line that uh, the headers ignited or something like that. Could be a broken oil line or a broken fuel line. You He's chasing the 22 down to try to get the side draft off him. I don't think he knows uh, that he's there. Yeah, Ryan Sieg was in a in a hole there, and, and no, no fault of Ryan Sieg. That's just one of those racing incidents and he has to go three wide four wide and they just run out of real estate contact with the 41 up the track catches Hemrick Legato down there on the bottom of the race check as he went out of and throwing that debris the tire debris up in the air you can't see it because the trash compound's so dark you can't really see where that stuff's at where the where the groove's at where it ends did you see how aware Crafton was of everything that was going on around him seen as soon as he saw that go bad to the apron he goes and watch the job that David Gillen does. Those trucks are crashing There's right no in front way of the, he misses that. Right in front of that blue truck with Valvoline on the hood. He's able to sneak through. A little bit of damage there to that right front of David Gillen. Crafton has barely missed. See. Down at the bottom of the track. Oh, that's Noah. Just like you, you called it, Steve. He's going by him so fast. The air just disappears on the side of that 66. And so he's... He's just getting loose Ooh. right here as the 14 
that goes to his outside. It looked to me like like Kyle Larson at that point as oh, he went in oh. the corner. Man, heavy, Boy. heavy impact. Yeah, the three of Austin Dillon really. How about Gustine coming around the outside? Contact and Dean is going to take out Rose. And Crafton gets through again somehow, and so many more involved in this incident. Right on the outside of Tower Reddick against the what we already said coming into this whole race. Turns three and four in the wind, and it's just going to pull. Uh, just got out. loose. Yeah, it's just going to pull him right around. It's going to collect Christopher Bell and, and a whole list of others. And, and we talked about this in the pre-race. You knew this was going to happen in this race. Kevin turns three and four. Very difficult. Windy conditions. Everyone is taking every little gap that's there. And here comes a crash. That's Earnhardt. Got into the 86 to the 51 of Jeremy Clemens. Timmy Hill in that as well. Justin Allgaier. And that's a product of him getting caught in the first crash. I mean, this racing has been outstanding since we got the green flag with six to go. Man, he went nose first after contact with Cole Custer. Yeah, and I don't know exactly what happened off of turn two over there. Final lap, his teammate Denny Hamlin just got loose off the corner. And around he went. And into the inside retaining wall. That's Mike Harmon coming out of there. So here he is on that curb. Oh. oh. Overcorrected. Yeah. Right into the armco barrier. Wow. Per mile and a half race. You're right, Steve. That's a big impact for that 98. Yeah. I, I you know, we talked about these composite bodies, how strong they are, but there's still the suspension when it hits those tires that hard. Look at that impact by Tyler. That's a huge shot. Reddick. Oh, Reddick was out of control going up the racetrack. Big hit. Watch that again. There was a lot of things going on there at once. Yeah, I'm not sure if the Reddick had a flat tire. Yeah. Just get out of line. That force. And they get really close together in turn two. Just suck the 48 car right around. Yeah, the one car, Kurt Busch, he just had some issues and just got up the racetrack, and that allowed both of these guys to get underneath them and you said it. I mean, when, when you get underneath somebody like that, it's easy to get the air taken off of your spoiler, and just around they went, three wide. Just normally doesn't work very well at Indy. It's just not a wide racetrack, enough groove. Until that just happened right there. Now three wide, two rows back, three rows back. Oh, Boyer gets turned. Golly. Looked to me like he came up just a little bit too early on McDowell. Oh, my gosh. Oh. And William Byron's Did luck not. runs out. <laughs> you actually go for it it's not well sheldon creed was going through the middle he was going to try to get underneath ross chastain and ross realized that and started to turn down to try to block that move and there just wasn't time michael as we've been talking about Look nice at the hard job by natalie decker check that out she's gonna maybe make just a little contact but up on the racetrack she was sideways and talked at the start of this broadcast about how difficult it is to keep control of your truck when you're down on the bottom. It just got loose. No air on that right rear fender because of the outside. Watch this damage right here. Traffic and then bam. Wow. Look at that contact. That was a block. It I think wasn't. the three got there. He didn't mean to get there. It's just no. a little bit of contact. When the when Clint goes across the back bumper of that three, it turned the three sideways. It yeah. upset the back of that three car. And then at that moment, Austin's trying to just catch his car. He's steering the race car, trying to steer the back of the race car. It drives, starts driving like a forklift at that moment. And then he's down. The two of Creed right there in the middle. And it looked like, like Jordan Anderson had some sort of an issue and slowed, it looked like. Well, and then know, Creed ran in the back of him. Not sure Sheldon Creed had anywhere to go. No, I don't think so either. Yeah, Jordan, Jordan looks. I don't, the front end just goes light on him up the hill cranked it left like you said phil then back to the right but it was too late a little hard shot into the safer barrier fill those 32 spots to see who's going to get their shot at winning tonight and for the second time and that's a big hit for the 34 of jesse awuji 
we were just talking during the commercial break, Michael and I, and then we. Rick, he came, he came off the end of the front straightaway, and that hard shot into the barrier, something let loose on the right front, probably a tire going down there, right in front of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Landon Castle at this point, along for the ride and into the wall. Wow, what a hit. Boom, boom. Three or four of them all together. Right in the lookout. Wow. 22 almost went over. <laughs> yeah, uh. that's a moment that, that all the safety of the uh, roof flaps and the hood flaps definitely saved that 22 car from going over. Years ago, I'm confident to say that car may have, may have went airborne for sure. Sure, yeah. Brad and so with that Blaney kind of, just sneaking by. That was big for Blaney. Even though the 22 is back in the pits, opportunity to get tuned up. That's working really well. Oh, Jimmy got to oh, take over. Oh, no, oh, Jimmy. Contact. And oh, around dude. goes Bernard into the wall. Taking cars with him. Come on, high, come on high. Clear, clear, clear. All clear. Yeah. Big wreck. You got it. Well, I'm just wondering, did that suck the back end of the car around on Bernard? I see right here that red, white, and blue, number one, second in line on the top. Gets basically. The same situation we've seen. He catches the two of Tyler Reddick. It stops his momentum. Christopher Bell's behind him. He doesn't know, can't do anything about it. Just hits the one so hard, it spins the one out at the front of the field. We'll see what happens here. He's in the middle of the screen, the orange track. He's going to dip below Decker in the 54, bounces up. Just wasn't quite clear nope. of Natalie, and she was holding her line, and they clipped, uh, they clipped Boyd into that outside wall. Yeah, can't really. Really very similar to what we saw a little bit ago with Austin Sender and Brandon Jones, right? Car on the outside, kind of takes the air off the car on the inside, and on the inside. And Gilliland had nowhere to go either. He had someone on his back bumper, and boy, that's a, mm, man, that's a frightening feeling seeing that wall coming at that speed. Believe me, I know I've hit a few of them. Thank goodness for the safer barrier. Obviously, you see how much of that. damage there is to that truck. How about Alex Bowman in the 88? Oh, 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 he gets a shove. He's going to go sideways yeah, right in front of the pack. Big the 48 caught up, and the 9 is caught up. The caution has come out. He got a big shove right into the front of the pack. Next car down the front straightaway. Huge here. block coming right here. Blaney, as they go around, the 37, almost upside down. So is the 96, Parker Kligerman. Here they come, they make contact. They're side by side, it's a photo finish at the line. Eric Jones tries to feel the hole and Brad, oh, it's very tight right there. Brad coming down the 20, trying to get in that position and it took all the air off the right side of that 20 car. Eric Jones getting a little bit loose there underneath the two. This tries to make it three wide right there. Busher comes down, a little bit of contact oh. right there. It just turns the 37 around. Boy, and Benedetto oh, had big. nowhere to go, and Truex had nowhere to go. So happy to see that 37 car stay Haley. on the ground when the 95 hit him. Yeah, yep. big hit by Haley in the 77. Wow. The 17th of February looking way too much like the 4th of July. Amen. Fireworks everywhere. Yeah, and it really and truly, it was uh, Paul Menard. He gave to Benedetto a, a little shove, but it was on the outside, on the right side, and that just turned the, the, the Benedetto into the in the outside wall, and then it was on from there. And a, a different situation than we saw in the clash between Menard and with Jimmy Johnson, but it was a similar thing when we heard the spotter on the 21 Menard say, "Well, he zigged, and we zagged." That that uh, Brad was pushing the crap out of me, and I loved it. Oh, that's ten house. Go figure. Um, yeah, it hey, stuck the landing. Russian judge docked me a little bit. I didn't keep it straight. No, I mean, look, the Beardle Chevy man, we ran a great strategy. Darren Shaw, Ron Lewis, my spotter, everybody. It was awesome. I mean, 62 was in front for a split second. And let's see, legs together. Eh, I mean, didn't really stick it well. But. Fourth, Joey Logano on the outside riding in fifth. They're all chasing Chase Elliott to the back straightaway. Elliott brings them off turn number two. Now they're spinning at the back of the pack. Kyle Larson, William Byron, David Reagan careening out of control. Up front, Bowman to the outside of Elliott for the lead in three. Here's Bowman with the race lead to the top of the bank and goes Eric Almarola. Chase Elliott working down to the inside as they work their way off turn four.